Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the rules for creating satin or sateen weave. Now there are a set of rules which have to be followed to be able to construct a satin or sateen weave as these are weaves which do not have any prominent weave structure and they only have one binding point per end and per pick which is why it is essential to have some move numbers so the first rule says that the move number should not be 1 so if you look at this design where the move number happens to be 1 or rather equal to the number of the weave repeat now i have created blocks of 8 by 8 to show and explain all the rules so if this is my first binding point and if the move number is equal to the total number of yarns then i will keep marking on every successive pick i will keep marking one on top of the other which is why the move number should not be equal to the total number of yarns the next rule says that it should not be one the move number should not be one so if i am marking one as my move number it goes one to the right one up and one one and it happens to form a twill line this is what is going to give a prominent structure to the weave and then we will also not be able to differentiate between satin sateen or twill weave so the move number should not be one next rule says the move number should not be one less than the total number of yarns which means if it is a block of 8 by 8 my move number should not be 7 so this is where i marked my first i counted 7 and then marked a cross count 7 mark a cross count 7 mark a cross and this is how you get your binding points if your move number is one less than the total number of ends if you realize both these rules are going to give you a twill weave the rule stating that the move number should not be one will give you a right handed twill whereas the move number 1 less than the total number of ends will give you a left handed twill so which is why it's a strict no the next rule says that the move number should not be a common factor with the repeat size so in case of 8 by 8 2 and 4 happen to be common factors of 8 where you can directly divide that number by 8 so here i have taken an example of 2 as a move number so if you realize one is you happen to get a fair uh, fairly visible twill line which is more resembling the elongated twill in addition to that when you use this as the move number you can see that alternate ends do not have any interlacement so warp yarns number 2 4 6 and 8 do not have any interlacement on them hence you cannot use a common factor to create a satin or sateen weave next rule spells out that the move number should not be a multiple of the common factor so 2 and 4 happen to be a multiple of or directly a common factor of 8 however 6 is not directly divisible by 8 but it's a multiple of a common factor so 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6 and 2 multiplied by 4 is equal to 8 so 6 becomes a multiple of the common factor for a 8 end block so now if you reverse 2 the block developed or the base marks developed with using the move number 2 you get a complete reverse of that with move number 6 so here you can notice that the you again see a faint twill line and alternate ends do not have any interlacement order hence these are not to be used as your move numbers you are supposed to use numbers which are unequal so for example in case of an 8 end twill your unequal numbers would be 3 and 5 neither of which is divisible by each other
that is how you select the move numbers for satin or satin weave keep watching more videos thank you